only take uh, a certain diameter wrap around the drum. The bigger, thicker material has to have a larger drum that it's going to go around. For that material, if we could use a two-inch drum, some material we could we'd have to use a four-inch drum. So that's why we were using this two-inch material, and we designed the robot around that originally. When we switched over to the latex tubing, that could go around a tighter diameter drum. So on the side here, we used to have a, an aluminum arc that the ball would go around this arc, but it did a poor job of it. So we switched to latex on here. And since the latex could use could go around a smaller diameter drum, these are smaller diameter. If we were to redo everything from scratch, these could all be smaller diameter too. But what are the different like caps? Okay. So now everywhere you see an aluminum cap, that wheel is being driven by the window motor down here. So um, this window motor drives this here. Each level has one of the wheels being driven. On this level, this wheel is being driven, and on the upper level, this wheel is being driven. And they all are driven by the same chain. This chain is tensioned over here by that which mechanism, that idler wheel which slides out. The chain down here is tensioned by this Teflon wheel inside here. And the other chain on the robot is the steering chain and that's tensioned between these two wheels. And we need to be able to adjust the chain pressure the lower and the upper shooter motor. Towards the rear and towards this this. the front of the robot um, to compensate for steering. If we pull all the pressure this way, it'll it'll end up rotating the wheels outward. If we pull all the pressure forward, it would end up rotating the wheels inward. So we have to rotate, we have to use two tensioners on the steering chain. So this so we is can between this wheel and that wheel, right? Yes. Like those two okay. uh, to get the balls to go around at uh, locations where we still have a little bit of metal, mm -hmm. we've added little spikes of the pneumatic tubing. So on the back, we have a, a metal ramp back there, and we've added all these spikes here. And the ball is guided around this ramp here, that direction. Okay, I think, oh, can you explain the paddle? Like this whole, this paddle. Well, now that it's hooked up, <laughs> now that I can't move it to see. demonstrate. Oh, okay. But the paddle pushes the ball up into the shooter, and the shooter's not actually mounted in place yet. Okay. But the paddle pushes the ball into the shooter here, where this wheel catches it and, and moves it the rest of the way into the upper wheel, and then it shoots it out at this 45-degree angle of the shooting drum. Is there anything else we need to go through? Yeah, a shooter.